Well, we had a visit from Eric yesterday and we filmed like three videos worth of unboxing of this amazing stuff. And it turns out I was filming in slow motion. So <laughs> there was no audio and it was just- A whole lot of- No, there was no audio. There was no audio. It was just- Okay, um, so <laughs> basically the footage was just done. There was yeah. nothing. So- <laughs> Three videos, three days three, worth three of- Three videos. Entertainment for you guys. And, and it was like three videos of going through this, this stuff. And it was like raw excitement, like we're seeing it for the first time versus now where we've already seen it. We did it yesterday. We've seen it once. Mm. We've done this once. And so now we're just kind of redoing it. Um, but we didn't want to like rob you guys of seeing this great stuff. So we decided let's just do another video and talk about it all over again. Um, there were a couple planners and a couple larger items that we did not bring back to the house to show off. Yes. Um, they're going to be sitting in the shop for a while. Mm -hmm. They're not shippable items. They're going to either be a local pickup or they're going to be items that are offered for sale in the shop. Yes. Um, it's not worth bringing, lugging those back to the house right now to film yeah. all this. I brought four banana boxes home. We're going to go through two and a half of them. Yeah. Um, one of them is this lovely Williamsburg restoration Ooh. pottery. There's quite a, quite a bit of it though. Yeah, there's a ton of it. Um, we also left an entire banana box full of snow babies over at the building. We did not yeah. bring those home to talk about those. We're saving those for around Christmas time. Um, but our total spend with Eric was $500. Um, which probably seems like a lot, and it will seem like a lot when you see what's here, and what's it doesn't here. seem like a lot, but <laughs> but there's more. Uh, we just we didn't pull everything out, and, and I think we're gonna kind of split into the other box yeah. because actually the other box that's here we did not we get didn't into. get through it. So that is a surprise box. A surprise box, mm -hmm. and I think we might get to that tomorrow because it is super late. It is 11:30 p.m. right now. And I've still got to edit this video for you to see tomorrow morning. So <laughs> let's get through this. Um, okay, so in one of the boxes, there was a lot of this stoneware pottery. Um, a lot of it was the Williamsburg reproduction. Um, and there, there's just like multiples of stuff. So I just pulled out some of it. Candlestick holders, teacups. Yeah, like this, teacups, um, coffee cups. Pitchers. Pitchers. Uh, I can't even, there, there's just a ton of stuff. Um, it's marked, it's stamped Williamsburg Pottery. And when we're talking value about this stuff, uh, Williamsburg Pottery, just it doesn't fetch like a huge amount of money. Um, a lot of this stuff we're looking at here is more about volume. It's gonna be more of a volume haul. Because yeah. We get it for cheap enough and we get the volume that it, it makes us money. Um, so here, like for, for coffee cups, you're looking at like 15, 15 to 20 bucks. Um, for a pitcher, you're looking at 10 to 15. Um, for the candlesticks, probably 15 again for a pair. Um, but there's a whole box, so it really adds up. Um, I'll just go right to the BBP. BBP yeah, uh, the BBP. Because it looks this almost similar. Yeah, so the BBP was in there as well. You guys know I've talked about BBP before because, here, let's see if I can get closer. And you can see the mark on the bottom. I've talked about this before because um, we come across Eldrith a lot and I'm usually quick to buy the Eldrith to flip. Um, the BBP, I usually steer clear from. And the reason being that I showed you the trick yesterday where you can sort from highest to lowest solds. And the highest that any BBP piece has sold for in the past couple months is $60. So yeah. Keeping that in mind, it's... If you go to Goodwill or Salvation Army and you see a piece of that and they have it priced at yeah. 10 or $15, um, chances are it's not the $60 piece that you're yeah. going to want and you're not going to want to pick that up. Yeah, and just recently with Easter, they ha they actually made a, a bunny and, and the, that's what was selling for, for really high. And that was because Easter was driving the prices of that bunny up. If you can get it for a couple dollars, 
and turn it into a fifteen twenty dollar yeah. bill. Like we're gonna do because that's what this is worth. This that's is worth okay, like 15, but just 20. don't overextend yourself on stuff like that. Yeah. And then you've got like this piece here, which I don't believe is Williamsburg. No, no, we were kind of comparing it, and it's it's not Williamsburg. It's kind of got the same look. It, the so looking at the Williamsburg, they've got the leaves and everything are like incised around yeah. them. This one is not, and the color is different. Yeah. It's very slight, but it's different. Yeah, so I'm thinking like 12 to 15 for that. Yeah. Um, but we've got a whole box up here. So yeah, there's around. a ton of it. So I will let you take a turn. All right, so we've got some pheasant glasses that I don't have to fight an old lady for. <laughs> Miserable, mean old woman. Oh, that was a fun video. I oh, how that. I miss the thrift stores. <laughs> Drama at the thrift store. Now these are cool. These are do definitely retro. Yeah, I believe it's Hazel Atlas that makes this. These are not marked though, um, but they do have the hunter with the pheasants. And they usually that set came with a picture. We do have more glasses. I just again I didn't pull them all out. I think we've got four or six. There was an even number. Um, we don't have the picture, unfortunately, but we do have all of the glasses. So I'm thinking like 20 yeah. on the glasses. And I believe those are eight ounces. Yeah. Or they eight look, or ten. That looks about right. Yeah. Um, I will talk about this. Yeah. I stole it from my parents' house. <laughs> Andrew's mom actually <laughs> has this same bowl. And so it was fun to see this in the boxes. Um, this is Lennox. I don't know if you can see, I don't even know if I'm holding it right. Um, but it is a Lennox Snow White bowl. Uh, this bowl, I gotta click on our faces. I'm using a different camera, so. Um, this bowl right here sells for 20 to $25. So this, there is somebody asking 125 for it right now. Asking, mm. asking, but it sells for 20 to 25. That's cool. This is really cool. And I'm gonna tell you why this is really cool. Boo. You guys know I talk a lot about the Capodimonte. Um, this is not Capodimonte. If you look at the flowers, you can see they're a lot more dainty. Um, you don't have to hide our faces with this camera. I don't. It focuses right on the object. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a lot more dainty. And the reason for that is that this is actually English. This is from England. And one of the ways that I can usually tell the difference between the Capodimonte, the Italian, and the English is that it is, it's a lot more dainty and the, the flowers are a lot more They're not as robust. Tight. They're, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and now the French also, they also made little flowers like this, very dainty flowers. So um, just keep that in mind whenever you're finding these, these porcelain china flowers. And it's really mind blowing that None of them are broken. I know. There's no damage to this one. Yeah. Uh, I usually don't pick those up for resale because they're usually broken. So I honestly don't know the value for that. If I was to guess, I would probably say 12 to 16, somewhere in that range. It could go, I don't know. It could be worth more. Helicraft, Bone China, England. Yeah, it's really pretty. I yeah, like it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. All right, did you want to take a turn? Yeah, what else we got down here? Ooh, did we do these? No. No, we didn't do these. So we had a set of four of these sold already. Mm -hmm. We had three more at the shop, and Eric said, hey, hang on to those for a while. I have a fourth one for yeah. you. So he brought us the fourth one. So we are bringing you a nice set of George Briard strawberry, strawberry glasses. Um, Great summertime. Oh, absolutely. Great great for a little summer drink. Yeah, and I, I can't remember, I didn't check what the others had sold for, so I'm not really sure on those. I would say probably about 20. I don't like the George Briard stuff. I know, it's really nice in mid-century. Yeah. I like it too. Um, okay, uh, I guess talk about this. There you go. We've got some art glass here. Now this piece I have bought and sold before, this exact same piece, and I think I think I sold it bef between 15 and 20. We have to, I have to complain to him though. He's going to start cleaning this stuff before he gives oh, it to so us. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> Ugh, how do you sell that to your customer? <laughs> dirty. Oh, poor Eric. <laughs> this is cool. This is Swedish. Yeah, Eldfast. It's a uh, ceramic, I think is what make who makes it. Now there are a bunch of pieces right now up that are listed and there are not 
very many sold at all. So that leads me to believe that there's not a very, yeah, there's not a very high demand for these pieces. Um, there was only one example sold with this pattern. And so I would expect probably to get like 15 to 20 for this. I like it though. I like the color scheme. I love scheme. the design. It's like a very mid-century design. Yeah. It's a very, very neat And design. it's very simple. Yes. Bunch of squigglies and circles. <laughs> Looks like somebody Ashley finger could do it. that. <laughs> Juliet could do that. Um, ooh. Would you like to talk about your glass? Yeah, let's do these. So when I pick these up, with custard glass, I said, ooh, this one's going to glow. Does this one glow? Oh, yes. This one glows. Here, let's turn off the light for them. <gasps> Boom. Ooh, now, actually, too, let's see if the stopper glows. Let's make sure the stopper glows. <laughs> you have too much fun. I know. <gasps> stopper glows. Okay, be careful. Don't let it fall. Okay. <laughs> and then there was a second piece, and I looked at it, and I said, ooh, this one's going to glow, too. And I was told, no, it's not. But it wasn't her. <laughs> That's Sarah's voice. It sounds very similar to my voice, but it's not. <laughs> but this one glows. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I know. It needs like a built-in LED black light. Boom. But yeah, so we've got some... Yeah, so we've got some cool glow glass. The, the color on this is different though. Like this is like a yellow custard. Yeah, that's a custard and that's... This resembles the color of jadeite, even though it's not jadeite. It is a green milk glass, like, yes. you, like you told me. Yeah. Um, but it resembles the jadeite color. And then I've got a piece that resembles the Delphite blue color too. Mm -hmm. And that fluoresces. A blue milk glass. Yep. Yeah. Um, so this shaker right here, unfortunately, it is just a single, though it is very, I think it's really cool. It is. Uh, unfortunately, since it's just a single, it'll probably sell between 10 and 15. And then our, okay with that, our little though. bottle, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking that's about a $25 piece Ooh. because I the custard glass I've been looking up is mm -hmm. some of it's been bringing really good money lately that's and good. I notice and I noticed too that if your main photo is a black light photo mm -hmm. those pieces seem to yeah. do much better yeah that's why I do it <laughs> so that's those yeah. here you want to talk about some Pyrex oh gosh I actually kind of like this one though. It's like a snowflake. This could actually, this would be good to do Christmas cookies with your grandkids. Oh my gosh. I love that idea. I come up with some good stuff every once in a while. That's a wonderful idea. Um, this is actually probably, it would have been a, a set of graduated mixing bowls. We have the largest, uh, which is four quarts. I'm not familiar with this pattern, but perhaps like Andrew said, it is snowflake. It looks like snowflakes. And uh, I'm not really sure how much it would go for. I think the larger mixing bowls just in general typically go for, I want to say 15 to 20. Um, back when I was buying and selling a lot of Pyrex, I don't know how the prices have changed because I haven't sold it in a really long time. I will tell you that this has not been run through the dishwasher. No. That stuff is in a really good shape. It looks nice. There's no fading. It's got that nice sheen shine to it still. Like so it. nobody ran that through the dishwasher. That's good. That is nice. Cookies with grandma. All right. What else we got? The candlesticks. Oh yeah. Ah. Ding. Ding like a bell. All right. So. Boom. Are these candlesticks or hats? Oh my gosh! Please don't balance that on your head. It's gonna fall, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so these right here, you can kind of see the pattern. Um, it's pretty focused in there. So this is English hobnail. Wait a it minute. Kinda... Are you sure they're candlesticks or are they fire goblets? Oh my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so yeah, this pattern right here, it looks like diamond point. However, <laughs> it is English hobnail. And it's kind of like the white milk glass we talked about the other day. It's, hob it's, it's unicorn hobnail. Stop! We're going to run out of SD cards. Unicorn! Stop! I'm running out of time. Um, so these right here for the pair would sell for about 20 to 25. 
If they were a different color, if they were blue or green or purple, they would sell for more. Um, I think a pair of either the blue or the green sold for $65. So if you find these in a different color. I just, I like the different I do difference too. in the pattern on these with that little notch put yeah. into it. it looking That's like interesting. teeth. Fire goblet. What else do you have? Um, Two beef. Oh, here, you get Waterford. Oh, oh. Waterford Crystal, it's, the finest. I mean, it's a cute little heart-shaped trinket box. It it's still it's got the original sticker, original, <laughs> original it. box. <laughs> it's a Waterford Crystal, and it is. It's a little trinket. And it's actually marked Amway. Oh, it's marked Amway. It's one of those. It's laser etched. It's laser etched. It's exclusively for Amway. That's what the box says. I don't know. I just like the shape of it, and that it's Waterford Crystal. Uh... You guys really liked the lobster plates and things that we just had. Yes. Now we've got bougie lobster. <laughs> bougie lobster. This is bougie lobster. Oh boy. Everybody needs a pink and gold bougie lobster plate. I like it. I do. I really like this. It's actually a lot more fancy. Yeah. I mean, elegant than just the green cabbage leaf with the lobster on it. Yeah, it looks German. It's not marked, but... I do see a small yeah. incised mark. It almost looks like a... Cross oh. swords. Yeah. Which is Mycin. Um, so this piece right here will typically sell for 25 to 45 and that I know that's kind of a big difference, but I saw one that sold for 25 and one that sold for 50. The one that sold for 25 really didn't have a whole lot in the description and I think that may have affected what it sold for uh, versus the other one so I'm saying like right around there yeah right and if we can for. if we can definitively attribute that mark to my son yeah. that I don't help know out. if they had in size marks I don't know that what we would have to look that up because I'm familiar with seeing um, painted marks but I like it yeah it's really nice uh, let's talk about the hand paint Hand planted. That hand planted plate. How many of you like Welch's grapes? Well, now you can own Welch's grapes. <laughs> that was clever. Uh, so this piece right here, this plate, uh, it is not marked by a manufacturer, but it was likely a blank that somebody purchased and painted. Yeah. Um, and it's marked by the artist, Welch. And it's grapes. And flowers. How apropos. I don't know. I love this plate. I do. I kind of like that the one. The hand painted stuff is really hard to say this is how much it would sell for because it really is one of a kind. Yeah. I like mean, every the, piece the plate is itself is a blank that yeah. there's multiples of, but each hand painted scene is different. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how much that would go for, but it's really nice. There's no chips and cracks. Mm -mm. The gold is vibrant. Yes. I'm digging it. Um, let's talk about those little naked babies. <laughs> mm. The naked children. Pass them this way. Hold, hold, please. Hold, please. Please don't knock anything off the table. I'm trying not to. Okay. All right. Here's a naked baby for you. About to suck a thumb. Oh, look at that naked baby. <laughs> we have more cupies. More crest. Oh, yeah. That doesn't work with this camera. You actually have to poke it. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. Uh, so we've got quite a few of these little naked babies. Specifically, where is the one with the... Yeah, that one's great because that's got the original one. tag. Um, so we've got more cubies. Now the story behind these is that Eric actually had them set aside for somebody else. And I guess that may have fallen through. Um, and then we ended up with them. But, but the cubies we had before were kind of like the cubies that they didn't want and I was like I'll take all of them um, and these were the ones that were pulled out because this other gentleman had wanted these but um, I guess Tiny one. so this one looks like it was a necklace oh yeah that one would have been a necklace and this one's got a pin for a pin back so you could wear one around your neck and one on your chest oh my god and let everybody know that you sacrifice cupie dolls <laughs> for jewelry I am half tempted to keep this and wear it in a video. 
and then everybody who didn't see this video would be like, I should show up at a metal what detecting. What is she wearing? I should show up at a metal detecting hunt with no shirt on, wearing that <laughs> on a string. I'm serious. They would lose their minds. <laughs> They'd be like, they that is a naked baby, by the way. There's a train coming. <laughs> I think at this point we just don't really care anymore. Um, I could always like choo -choo. Get, a, get a piercing. Get a piercing. <laughs> no, I wear, I wear that's the, too much. No, 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 that's too much. Too much. Too far. <laughs> All right, we've got seven minutes left before our SD card is completely full and we can't do anything else. In that case, I want to talk about this piece. Okay, go ahead. This is amazing. I kind of geeked out when he I totally saw this. He totally geeked out, and I. This is the part of the footage that I am so bummed that was lost. I legitimately went to my office and grabbed a book. He did. He like got up and just disappeared, and then came back with a book. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> so okay, so I'm not, I'm gonna show you this briefly, real quick, like this because it's got a base, a uh, cast iron base. Um, but we're gonna pop it out of there. Now, it's marked on the back, Josiah Wedgwood and Sons, Etruria. And on the front, you've got a scene, which is Titania. This is from the William Shakespeare series. Um, oh, uh, Midsummer Night's mid, Dream. Yeah, yep, Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and there was a series of 12 tiles. These were done in 1882 is the research that I can find on these. Um, I have the artist name that did the scene. Uh, this has got some super, super duper crusty stuff on it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this soak. We're gonna try the Eric OxyClean trick. We're gonna let this soak in OxyClean and water for about two days. Um, it should not hurt the transfer. It's a process they use to get some of the staining out of the ironstone and transferware. And then what you do is after it's soaked for a couple days, you agitate it every time you walk by it. Um, you stick it in the oven on warm for about 15 minutes. And it's, of course it's going to work. It has to work. We're going to give it a shot. If Eric says it works, it has to work. Just like Eric said that wouldn't glow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know. I'm so I mean, glad he has a good sense of humor. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Do we do we need to mess with it? Do we need or do we let the buyer mess with it? I mean, it's got that nice antique look to it. Well, you were like all about keeping it yesterday, and then you decided. That I you know, were let it go. I know, I know. But you know what? The so, more the more I, the more I think about it, like after I did the research, I'm not I'm not really huge into William Shakespeare. It's not. <laughs> Yeah. You know, if it was like Hannibal Lecter eating some brains or something, that'd be cool. Oh my gosh, that's so morbid. <laughs> William Shakespeare sucks. <laughs> now, um, what? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> the goofy collar was too tight around his throat or whatever. It <laughs> looked like a freaking clown. I bet he had clown shoes. Oh, I can't. Did he have big clown shoes I too? can't. You're okay. just... It blasts for me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is a cool piece. This is a, I was really excited to see this. This is a nice early, early piece. Now Josiah Wedgwood, um, I the research I did on him, he goes back. He was started. He started producing his stuff in 1769. That's crazy. And he had two sons. So his sons probably produced this because if he started in 17, he, he would was, have been dead. Yeah, he, <laughs> he died at age 65. He died in 17, 17 something. So I want to say 1790 something. That's pretty cool. I like that tile. I like it a lot. I do too. Um, like I said, the cast iron base needs some TLC. Needs a wire but brush. I will tell you what, this is all original. 1882 is the year that these were put out. Now, if you look online, you'll find them they were done in sepia. And then you'll find other ones that were done later that have a square border around them. Mm -hmm. The image is smaller, and then there's other design around the edge. They're not Ooh. the same. Those were done by somebody else. But these are the... 
originals. And you'll see other ones that have um, a different back mark. Mm -hmm. And you'll see ones that have a letter date code. So. I like it's it. Cool. I was, I'm really excited about that piece. I know. I remember. And we lost the footage of you being really excited about it. I mean, right uh, now you're pretty excited I'm about it. I'm still pretty excited, but, but not the level of excitement. Like, I was geeking out. Yeah. It's a cool piece. I've learned that I'm always going to check the setting on my camera before we start filming. You checked it this time, right? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Never again will we be in slow motion. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, we are running out of space on this SD card. So we are going to end this video on, on this note right here. The creepy teeth lady. Tell the tooth. Focus on her face. She needs to tell the tooth. The whole tooth and nothing but the tooth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the smile is too much. I know, I can't handle the smile. I know, her smile creeps me out. <laughs> that was the other discussion yesterday. But anyway, uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. I feel like we're not going to do more of this. No. Eventually we will. But we're going to do something fun tomorrow. Maybe we can just come metal detecting and film that and then put that on the channel. Oh, I'm sure they That's fun. They can just go check out my other channel for that. <laughs> Link down in the description. <laughs> Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.